We're going to do some simple shading in Paint 3D by blocking in the highlights and the shadows of a sphere. So first thing we'll do is draw a circle or we can go to the 2D shapes page and use the circle shape. Make it a little bigger. And then we're going to put lines for our table, which again, you could draw on the brushes page, but we're going to use the line here to make it really straight. So you want to click where you want it to start and hold your mouse down the right click button down and drag it and then uh, drop it where you want it to stop. And so I want two of them. So I'm going to stamp and do another one over here. Just drag it over and I want it to be in line with the other one. So it looks like it's the same edge. All right, so now I'm going to the brushes page to color it in. I'm going to use the fill tool, pick a color for my sphere. Now it just looks like a circle. It is very flat. Um, we want this to look like a sphere, so we want it to look three dimensional. And think about what would happen if the light was coming from this direction. If your light was coming from this direction and this was a sphere, you would have a light area here. That's the highlighted area. And then you would have a shadowed side, a dark value around here, and then a shadow on the table. So that is what we are going for here. So get my red again. And then um, what I want to do first is get that light value. So I'm going to click on my red and I want to slide this over and get a light red to add my highlights. So I can just use the marker tool for this, but I am going to make it a little thicker and just kind of color in that that area where I think the highlight should be. All right, I'm gonna make this line thinner again. Now for the, the shadowed side here, I'm going to get a dark value. So click on my color again and slide down here where my dark values are, click OK. And I'm gonna draw a line to show the edge of the um, shadowed side of the sphere. And I want that line to touch the sides because I'm going to be using the fill tool to fill it in. So click your bucket, your fill tool, and color that area in. So there's your sphere. It's starting to look round now. So now we're going to just color in the table and the wall and put a shadow on the table. So I'm going to use blue for my table. All right, so for the shadow, I, again, I'm going to click on my color and slide down and get a darker value. Click OK. Use my marker to color or sorry, to draw a line where the edge of the shadow would be and the fill tool to fill it in. And then the wall, you can make whatever color you want. You could add patterns if you want. Um, so. This is just a little practice, just a simple way to um, create three-dimensional forms in Paint 3D.